This is my Nighthawk M6. I'm very impressed with how fast it is. I think this is the real future of mobile hotspot. So Netgear has released their M6 mobile hotspot and this is gonna be super fast because it utilizes 5G. What you will need is that you will need one of these which is going to be a SIM card because this is gonna be mostly relying on mobile data. So if you wanna use this as a in-home network, all you gotta do is remove the battery and power it on. Now that's gonna activate the ethernet port. So you can use this as a regular router inside of your home. But like most people, you're probably using this for mobile data because you're gonna take this on the go. So I've worked at outdoor events for over 10 years and I could tell you a mobile hotspot is one of the most essential items that I tell people, whoever is coming in terms of production families to bring if they want a uninterrupted and easy access hotspot on the go. So on the Nighthawk, when you unbox it, this is what you're getting. So here is your unit. It's gonna be 4.14 inches in terms of the width and the height. So it's a square. And it's only gonna be about 0.85 inches in terms of thickness. So that's everything inside of the box here. You get your unit, you get your charging port, you get your charger, your battery, and a quick start guide. So here we have, we have a SIM card. Here I have the SIM card. I'm gonna be removing the SIM card. I'm gonna place it, in, I'm gonna remove the battery. Now that I have my SIM card installed, all I need to do is replace, put back the, so now that I have my SIM card installed, all I need to do is just pop in back the battery. We're gonna pop in the cover back on. And now this is gonna be a roaming hotspot. So we press the power button and it's gonna boot up and now it's gonna be a roaming hotspot. I'm gonna show you what the actual speed is relative to my phone. So we're gonna do a simple speed test here. We're just gonna press go. So on LTE, I am getting about, I'm getting 57 megabytes per second on average. We're gonna test again just to run it twice. So this time around, we got 71 megabits per second. Now we're gonna try it with our Netgear. So we have our Netgear here. Your Netgear is gonna be giving you the SIM card display. I'm also gonna say I have 25 days left and I have not used any of the data because you might be using this and buying a prepaid plan and that might be five gigabits or 10 gigabits or 100 gigabits. Here, it's gonna let me know so I don't have to hit that limit so quickly. Or I can control it or I can top off if I do hit it. So we're gonna swipe up and in the swipe up, you guys notice that we are gonna be connecting using the QR code. So here, that QR code is the 2.4. So we're gonna to go to the five here. So this is gonna be for the five gigabit. I'm gonna just scan the QR code. And I'll show you that my Pixel 7 Pro is connected. So now that we're connected, we're gonna run the same test because this is operating on the 5G. Right now I'm connected via the M6. How fast are we gonna get? So you guys notice something? Look how much faster the speed is here. You guys see how fast this is going? I'm getting double my download speed versus my Google Pixel 7 Pro. So right here, I got 193 megabits per second. That is, that is almost three times faster than what I was getting because I was getting about 60 to 70 megabits per second. And now with the Netgear M6, because as a Wi-Fi system, because it has a more powerful boost signal, I'm just, getting, I'm just getting a faster speed. And you're like, well, it could be your Pixel. Well, we're gonna run that same test one more time. And here we even get to 200. So we're getting 200 megabits per second. Here, we're also gonna run another speed test on a iPhone. Same exact speed as the Pixel, around 200 megabits per second. So that's really good here. That's a super fast speed. You can see 207 megabits per second. So basically this works as intended. It is faster. I have a really long range. A question that a lot of people ask is what's the range if I'm just on battery? I would say that you have about a hundred, maybe 75 foot range between you and the router for you to be connected directly to it. If you go beyond a hundred feet, you might lose connection. But if you have this on plug-in, because plug-in you can put it on better performance, longer range, with better battery life, especially if you live in a rural area or you don't have great internet, this should have a range of about 2,000 square feet as long it's on, as long as it's plugged in and you have it plugged into the ethernet. So 
you got to remember each setting is going to be a little different. The battery power is going to be less powerful than the than the plug-in version because the plug-in version has in-home networking. So the M6 does not come with the M-Wave 5G. However, it comes with Wi-Fi 6, which is gonna be boosting it to about 3.6 gigabits per second. You can also connect up to 32 devices utilizing your Netgear. The M6 will also be able to be directly hardwired by ethernet into a laptop or another router in your home. And that's the in-home performance. It does let you know that if you wanna customize your Wi-Fi standby, to preserve battery life, Wi-Fi will automatically turn off after five minutes if no devices are connected, which is okay. I think that's fine. So we're gonna say 10 minutes. Let's change to saved. This is going to be the name of your network as well as the password. We picked our arbitrary password so it's easy. And you have your data usage, internet. You wanna use mobile cellular or you can use it with Wi-Fi offloading and ethernet. So we're gonna probably set this up with ethernet first. You have the ability to do a network map and it tells you your battery remaining as well. So you can also see your connected devices, no devices connected and your backed block devices. Wi-Fi, you have your Wi-Fi info, guest Wi-Fi. You can attach to a guest Wi-Fi if you so opt to. So let's say I wanna to attach to a guest Wi-Fi. So it allows you to share so guest Wi-Fi means allows you to share your Wi-Fi with temporary visitors without exposing them to your device on the main Wi-Fi. So that's if you want to just have it independent of other people and you don't know who they are. No devices are connected. WPS, your five gigahertz band. You can also control it and set it for dual band or you can have it for 2.4. So in this case, we are going to go dual band. So we have both ports open. I press back. You have your options here. You can adjust your Wi-Fi signal if you wanna even make that longer. So you have longer coverage, more power. If you, in case you so opt to, you have your Wi-Fi signal. So you can turn it on and off and you have your Wi-Fi standby. I'm gonna go back to our home menu. We're gonna go back to power manager. So you have balance for best battery life. You have performance, you have best performance and range. So this is gonna give you the best range. You have LCD on time. So it lasts you one minute. Wi-Fi range is extended, Wi-Fi standard, st Wi-Fi standby, this will never go on standby, and you have your ethernet port on. But for now, we are gonna be on balance. Performance means you're gonna be on one minute, Wi-Fi range is long, Wi-Fi standby is 60 minutes, and ethernet is on. So that means it, if, you wanna, if you have a lot of people around you, you are gonna be wanting to do it on performance. If you are just, taking this with you and you wanted to use it with the longest battery life, you're gonna do balance. And if you want the fastest speed with the biggest range, well do best performance and range. And here you have airplane mode, security, mobile. So in case you wanna connect and you wanna see your roaming data, you have your screen so you can control your screen brightness, your screen timeout, your Wi-Fi info on home and your default languages more settings, software, ethernet, device information, factory reset, data format, and time format. So that's all the features on your Netgear. So inside of the mobile app, as long as you have an online connection, it's gonna show you um, that you are connected, the Nighthawk M6. It's gonna show you also the connected devices, Pixel 7 Pro, five gigahertz. So you can also block devices, and it gives you a lot of relevant information there. So I do recommend the M6 because it is definitely the most powerful, longest range and lightest weight, easiest to use of all of the mobile hotspots that I've ever tried. And that's why we like it. And if you ever have to go camping, if you ever have to go on a trip, if you ever are gonna be meeting a lot of people or you're just doing a show, trade show, you have an event, you know, wherever you need a lot of Wi-Fi and you need people to connect with it, well, these are gonna be your secret tool or your secret weapon to giving others and yourself the fastest Wi-Fi connection possible. And with that, thanks for watching everybody. This is the Netgear M6. I'll catch you next time. Bye, bye, bye. So with, thanks for watching everybody. This is the Netgear M6. My name is David. I'm with the French Glow. Drop your comments and your likes below and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, bye, bye.